okay so this side of the pull pump here that's the pull pump right there and uh, this side right here is what determines the water that is coming from the pool so right now uh, we have water going in through here into the pool pump and this main valve right here switches between the spa and the pool so right now the spa is closed and we're taking everything from this side right here so this side right here is closed and so everything is all the water is going through here and it's coming either from these two valve here now um, this is closed right here so no water is coming from this side so the skimmer so this is from the skimmer right here as you can see so no water is coming from the skimmer right now and what we're going to do uh, and this is open by the way so this is closed on the top which obviously is open here so what we're going to do is loosen this valve here and we're going to close the main drain so main drain so we're going to switch this where it's going to go the other way and main we're going to close main drain i guess it's this side there you go so we close the main drain which means that right now we're sucking 100 percent from the skimmer let's check it out okay there you go as you can see right now there's a lot of activity here you see all those current so the water is being sucked into the pool pump into the filter and now what we're going to do is put in the vacuum head into the pool and we're going to plug this head right here into the hole there and it should fit perfectly and then create a it will immediately create a suction so you can actually feel it being sucked in and it'll stay so i want to drop this in to the pool so that it will immediately take on water when i put when i put in this particular head right here and here we go just uh, stick it in there I, I felt the uh, the sucking uh, right away and you can feel the water also through my hand through the hose so it's, it's definitely sucking water right now okay and that's it and then afterwards just operate yeah the this just like a normal uh vacuum and you should be good to go you may also want to turn your pull pump to full power to make sure that you're uh, pumping with the um, most amount of force so i'm switching mine to um a speed setting that is faster let me see yeah so i'm switching it to quick clean uh, which turns it to 3450 rpm and uh, that should get my vacuuming uh, efficiency better one of the tip uh, that i can give you to make a stronger vacuuming force is to plug up one of the skimmer so my wife is uh, vacuuming uh, attaching to the other skimmer right now and it is pretty decent on the sucking power but um, if I close if I can close the uh, the hole on this skimmer you can imagine that it's actually going to make um, the um, the sucking power that much better uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh, hang on a second so I'm going to use a, what is this, about a two inch. Um, this is just a cap from Pinch a Penny Chlorine that we use. Um, and I'm just going to put my hand in there and then put this uh, over the hole. Make sure you use something at least two inches so that it's not going to get sucked in. It's going to be really bad if you suck something in uh, into that pipe. So. That's it. Just uh, 
put that in and uh, it should be much better now over there the, the suction power over there so you can tell it makes a good suction you see that the, the water current just completely stopped here thank you for watching this video i hope you find it useful if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel thank you